So in your job as uh, MP for Kingston and yeah. North, can you tell us uh, what your job as MP actually entails, your day-to-day? -day? Well, there's two parts to being a Member of Parliament. Part of the job is to represent your constituents from Hull at Westminster, so to be the voice of people in Hull North here. The other part is to actually be active in the constituency, to talk to people, find out what are the issues, see what you can do to assist, enable, facilitate groups, organisations, and make sure that resources come into your constituency. So it's two parts, really. And how much of your time do you actually spend in the constituency as opposed to Westminster in debates in the House of Commons, etc.? Well, I'm usually here when Parliament's sitting, so that's Monday lunchtime through to Thursday tea time, and then I'm usually in my constituency from Thursday evening through to Sunday night so that's how my week usually divides up and that's a vote so I'm really sorry I have to no go problem. and vote. Can you tell us um, what you've been doing um, as an MP to help engage younger people in politics? Well one of the things I did in my first couple of years in the House of Commons was I moved an amendment to a bill to enable people at 16 to vote and that was really interesting uh, unfortunately the government decided it wouldn't support my amendment but it was great to get that um, subject out in the open and talked about in Parliament. And I think most parliamentarians now think, actually, we are going to have votes at 16. Perhaps not now, but in the next few years, I think we'll, we'll see that happen. Do you actually think that the younger generation, those, of, those people 16, 17 year, years old, are actually politi politically engaged enough to actually you know, want to cast their vote or if you think they're watching what's going on in British politics today to, you know, actually be informed enough to make, make a vote well, that they want? I or? go into schools quite a lot and colleges in my constituency and I'm always really very impressed with the level of knowledge and understanding that young people have. And they may not be sort of attached to political parties, but they've certainly got views about the environment, about the economy, about jobs, about the minimum wage. So they're always very well informed. So I'm quite hopeful that these young, young people now will actually want to vote. And I think also with citizenship classes in schools, by the time you leave school at 16, you're ready, you're able, you feel that you can actually uh, make a decision. And I think that that's coming. Um, and I see that you've served on the London Assembly prior to becoming MP. I did, yeah. Um, and I was just wondering how you actually got into politics and what spawned your interest uh, think, from a younger age. I think originally when I was in my teens it was around, um, in the sort of late 70s and 80s, it was around CND. I was quite involved then in CND, um, although I've changed my views actually since then. So it was a single issue that kind of got me interested and I've always been interested in feminism as well. So I think it was a combination of those two things that got me interested in representative politics. And then I became a lawyer and you realise then there's lots of things you want to change and the way to do it is to become a Member of Parliament. And do you have any advice to any young budding MPs out there who'd like to get into the political British political scene? Any advice to them on how I they could go about doing that? Have a go. I mean, I think you should start as soon as you can. The law's just changed now, so you can be a candidate at 18 for councils and for um, mem being Members of Parliament. So I think have a go. There's nothing like the experience of standing and having to defend your views to an electorate. I think it's great and people should get involved. Brilliant. Thank you very much for your time today. You're welcome.